Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace. 
is God and the tree from his Upon us 
and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Shout with joy to God all the earth, sing to his name, give glory to his praises. In the intercessions of the faithful, أيضا وأيضا بسلام إلى الرب نطلب أعدد وخلص وارحم واحفظنا يا الله بنعمتك بعد ذكرنا الكلية القداسة الطاهرة الفائقة البركات المجيدة سيدتنا والدة الإله الدائمة المتولية مريم مع جميع القديسين فلندع أنفسنا وبعضنا بعضا وكل حياتنا للمسيح الإله May God have mercy upon us and bless us, and may he cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Save us, O Son of God. Let the peoples give thanks to thee, O God. Let all the peoples give thanks to thee. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, who sing unto thee.
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Remembrance are all immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other into our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe in glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let God arise, and his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead. Vanish as wax melteth before the fire. So let sinners perish before the face of God, but let the righteous rejoice. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
Keep us and shall preserve us. Save me, O Lord, for the godly man is no more. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Wisdom, In those days, while we the apostles were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination, who brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. She followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, These men are servants of the Most High God who proclaimed to us the way of salvation. And she did this for many days. But Paul was annoyed and turned and said to the spirit, I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. When her masters saw that the hope of their gain was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the rulers. And when they had brought them to the magistrates, they said, these men are disturbing our city and they being Jews are setting forth customs which are not lawful for us to receive or observe since we are Romans. The multitude then rose up together against them, and the magistrates tore their garments off them and commanded them to beat them with rods. And when they had afflicted many stri stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer <coughs> to keep them safely. Having received such a charge, he cast them into the inner prison and fasted their feet in the stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. 
and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's fetters were unfastened. And the jailer, being roused out of sleep and seeing the prison doors open, drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. And he called for the lights and rushed in, and fell down before Paul and Silas, trembling with fear, and brought them out and said, Masters, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized, he and his entire household. Then he brought them up into the house and set food before them and rejoiced greatly with his entire house in that he had believed in God. Peace be to you that readest. لنوسكي أنت يا رب تحفظنا وتسترنا خلصني يا رب فإن البر قد فنيا الهكمة وصل من أعمال رسل القديسين الأطهار روسكما في تلك الأيام فيما نحن الرسل منطلقون إلى الصلاة استقبلتنا جارية بها روح عرافة وكانت تكسب مواليها كسبا جزيلا بعرافتها فطفقت تمشي في إسر بولصا وإسرنا وتصيح قائلة هؤلاء الرجال هم عبيد الله العلي وهم يبشرونك بطريق الخلاص وفعلت ذلك أياما كثيرة فضجر بولص والتفت إلى الروح وقال إني آمرك باسم يسوع المسيح أن تخرج منها فخرج في تلك الساعة فلما رأى مواليها أنه قد ذهب رجاء مكسبهم قبضوا على بولس وسيلة وجروهما إلى السوق عند الحكام وقدموهما إلى الولاة قائنين إن هذين الرجلين يبلبلان مدينتنا وهما يهوديان ويناديان بعادات لا يجوز لنا قبولها ولا العمل بها إذ نحن رومانيون فقام عليهما الجمع معا ومزق الولاة ثيابهما وأمروا أن يضربا بالعصي ولما أثخنوهما بالجراح ألقهما في السجن وأوصوا السجان بأن يحرسهما بضبط وهو إذ أوصي بمثل تلك الوصية ألقوهما في السجن الداخلي وضبط أرجلهما في المقترة وعند نصف الليل كان بولس وسيلة يصليان ويسبحان الله والمسجونون يسمعونهما فحدث بغتة زلزلة عظيمة حتى تزعزعت أسس السجن فانفتحت في الحال الأبواب كلها وانفكت قيود الجميع فلما استيقظ السجان ورأى أبواب السجن مفتوحة استل السيف وهم أن يقتل نفسه لظنه أن المزيونين قد هربوا فناداه بولصا بصوت عال قائلا لا تفعل بنفسك سوءا فإنا جميعنا هنا فطلب مصباحا ووثب إلى داخل وخر لبولصا وسيلا وهو مرتعد ثم أخرجهما وقال يا سيدي ماذا ينبغي لي أن أصنع لك يخلصا فقال آمن بالرب يسوع فتخلص أنت وأهل بيتك وكلما هو جميع من في بيته بكلمة الرب فأخذهما في تلك الساعة من الليل وغسل جراحهما واعتمد من وقته وهو وزوه أجمعون ثم أصعدهما إلى بيته وقدم لهما مائدة وابتهج مع جميع أهل بيته إذ كان قد آمن بالله السلام لك أيها الكريم 
Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us attend. At that time, when Jesus was passing, he saw a man blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, it was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day, night comes, when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And as he said this, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the man's eyes with clay, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. So he went and he washed, and he came back seeing. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar said, Is not this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is he. And others said, no, but it is like him. And he said, I am the man. And they said to him, then how were your eyes opened? And he answered, the man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and I received my sight. And they said to him, where is he? And he said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees this man who had formerly been blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. And the Pharisees again asked him how he had received his sight. And he said to him, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and I see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, how can a man who is a sinner do such signs? There was a division among them, so they again said to the blind man, What do you say about him, since he has opened your eyes? And he said, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they called the parents of the man who had received his sight, and they asked them, Is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he see now? His parents answered, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. But how he sees, we do not know, nor do we know who has opened his eyes. Ask him, he is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said this because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess him to be Christ, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, He is of age, ask him. So for the second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. And he answered, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. They said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? And he said to them, I have told you already, and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you too want to become his disciples? And they reviled him, saying, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses, but as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. And the man answered, Why this is a marvel? Why do you not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes? We know that God does not listen to sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. Never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born in utter sin, and what would this teach us? and they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and having found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of God? And he answered, 
and who is he, sir, that I might believe in him? And Jesus said to him, you have seen him, and it is he who speaks to you. And he said, Lord, I believed, and he worshipped him. I'd like to ask all the graduates to really pick up their card that has their name on in the vestibule and to sit in the front because we are honoring the graduate. If you're a graduate and you have no card, you still can come forward and introduce yourself. The Ladies' Society will also present their gift to the church today before we do the graduate. We church today baby lace to Robert and Mahazayek, and we are going to church another baby, Marco, to Daniel and Lena Nujain. Al-Masih Qam. Christ is risen. Al-Masih Qam. My dearly beloved, this is the fifth Sunday after Easter. And we came to remember the man who was born blind and how our Lord Jesus opened his eyes. We also honoring the graduate and their parents and their family member of our church community. The gospel is this morning's taken from the book of John. And it's a long story and dialogue between Jesus, his disciple, Jesus and the blind man, the blind man and the Pharisee, and the blind man and his parents. It's all about discussion. The disciple came to Christ and asked this question. Teacher, who sinned? This man? That he was born blind. Did his parents sin? Was the blindness is the cause of his parents' sinfulness or his sinfulness? And Jesus said, no, none of them. Neither this man sinned nor his parents sinned. In order today for the glory of God to appear in him, My dearly beloved, Jesus said, as long I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So he sat down and he made a clay 
He anointed the eyes of the blind and says, Go wash. And the eyes of the blind were opened. My dearly beloved, who sinned? Him or his parents? Is there a relationship between sickness and sin? Neither him nor his parents sin. Not all sickness are the result of sin. As our Lord stated, but there are a direct result from sin. Those who are addicts, whether to drugs or whether to computer or YouTube or music or whatever addiction, they suffer from it. They become isolated from their family, from their loved one, and they become unhappy. Those people bring about sickness to themselves. The sickness of their soul and their body. Those who abuse their bodies as a result of this, they sin. The true sin are in our bad habits. Their vices that separate us from God and our family. The healing of the blind man by our Lord Jesus Christ declare that Jesus has come to the world to open our inner eyes, our inner eyes. The true sickness of the world are not physical blindness. The true sickness of our world is spiritual blindness spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness can cause more sickness than physical blindness. Spiritual blindness take away the light of Christ in our daily lives, in our relationship. Spiritual blindness makes us refuse the love of Christ. And we live in a world of darkness. How many of those who are physically blind that their heart see? Their heart see? Yes, my dearly beloved. There is a correlation between the healing of the blind man in this morning gospel and the way you have been created. Jesus made a clay and anointed the eyes of the blind and his sight was restored. We read in the book of Genesis the creation story how God made man from the clay of the earth and breathed in him the breath of life and man became a living being. In other words, you and you and you are made in a very fashioned way, very special way. Today we honor our graduate, and much to my joy, 
much to my satisfaction, much to my church accomplishment, I baptized 99% of them. I married their parents and their grandparents built this church. So as we honor our graduate in our community, we rejoice for them. We rejoice for their parents and their friends. And we wish to remind them that education without the Lord and the love of Christ in their lives, who inspired them to serve, to sacrifice, to give back to their church and community, this education become deadly and of no benefit. I know many people who are educated and they do not contribute an ounce back neither to their family nor to their church community nor to society. My dearly beloved, humanity said the Archbishop of Tripoli, Lebanon, Ephraim Kyriakos, he said, there are two kinds. One, admit to their spiritual blindness and come to the light of Christ. That's number one. The other kind, that they can see and refuse their faith and remain living in a darkened world. We have a choice. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. So today is your day. I know not that all the children are here today, but their parents are here. And you come when their name are called and receive their gift. Who are you? Who are you, the graduate? Well, you are someone special. You are a reflection. You are a reflection of God's image and likeness. You are a reflection of those who came before you, who guided you, who inspired you, who prayed for you, who cried for you and waited for you, and prayed for you, prayed for you. Do not forget who you are. Don't forget where you belong to your church and your family and community. If you remember that, there will be always the wind that beneath your wing, your family and your church. And your, the prayer will always be the wind that beneath your wing to fly. So I ask that all the graduate, please bring your card. If you don't have a card, see Angela Sultani in the vestibule. And this Eucharist is offered for your continued health. Today also, sweet dream is offering refreshment to everyone in the church and for the graduates. So as you leave, you'll be given a napkin and a bite-sized dessert for everyone. Because downstairs, not everyone is able to make it. 
المسيح قام Christ is risen المسيح قام دانيال go wait with your wife Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by the grace we do. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
والمتغيبين عنها ووكلايا والمحسنين إليها والذين يتعبون ويخدمون فيها ليذكركم الرب الإله في ملكوت السماوي كل حين الآن وكل وان وإلى دار أبانا ورئيس كانتنا فيليبوس والمطران أنتني وكانوتكم ليذكركم الرب الإله في ملك السماء كل حين أنا وكل أوان وإلى دار الداهرين Our Father and Metropolitan Philip and our Bishop Anthony and all our brotherhood in Christ the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our president, civil authorities, and our armed forces in defense of peace and freedom everywhere, the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God, which is holy oblation, is offered, may receive health, salvation, and visitation, the founders of this holy church, and the graduate, and their parents, and teacher, and the servant of God. Ramon Dakhuri wa Ailatiha, Najla Sassin, Timothy Lawson, Rose Bedrin, Eli and Violet and Sarah and their family, Baby Aiden, Metropolitan Paul Yalji, Archbishop Yohanna Brahim, Lias Rizet, Angela Nasser, Isa Nunu Paul and Ann Salami, Michelle Milky, Gianna Abdinur Leonard, Muayyad Shahade Nawal Bawalski, Ali Joe Bezzi, Larry Isaac, Jan Alex Harp, Abby and Chloe Tyrese, Shokin Ferris and Nora Muslim and their parents, Daniel Lina and Marco Nujain and their family, Bahia Shalhu, Chloe Fotios, Robert Maha, Lais Zayed and their family, Tony and Rula Saeed and their family. And O oh Lord, we pray that you guide and guard and bless all our children and the men and women who celebrate their graduation today. Nasri Abdul Noor, Jennifer and Philip Ajlouni, Rain Ajlouni, Jesse Ajlouni, Alessandra Ajlouni, Rami Ajlouni, Brian Anid, Lauren and Takli, 
Angela, Jessica, and Matthew Ayub, Jessica Bobcock, Rachel Batshun, Diana Bayou, Steve Bayou, Danny Bojrab, Gabriel Borg, Bobby D, George Durani, Rami Durani, Alessandra Fahum, Joseph Fakhouri, Samuel Jeraise, Jacob Ghanam Jr., Musa Ghanam, Tiffany Ghanam, George Gharib, Jessica Haddad, Angela Haikal, Nasri Hajjar, Christopher Harp, Jennifer Harp, Rana Brahim, Daniel Isaac, Sean Joslov, Michael Kabash, Tanya Kakish, Hikmat Fahd Al Ashar, Brittany Kandah, Christina Cassis, Nadia Cassis, Robin Cassis, Shireen Cassis, Jamie and Jacqueline Kawas, Ashley Khalil, Anthony and Tariq Khalil, Nicole Khamis, Nicole Khouri, Peter Khouri, Olga Kishik, Hadia Leon, Rosanne Masad, Mark Munayer, George and Rita Matta, Anthony Michael, Nina Nafal, Alicia Nasser, Charlie Nasser, Nicolette Nasser, Rawan Kakish, Nicholas Rod, Nicholas Rabah, Nicholas Rizkallah, Megan and Stephen Salah, Angela Sultani, Jordan and Valeria Turian, Giorgio Samopoulos, Alexandra Yatros, Jenna Youssef, Alex, Justin, Sharky Zayed, Jason Ziede, may the Lord God bless them now and forever and unto ages of ages. The servant of God departed this life before us to a life of hope and resurrection, whom we remember them today, the founders of this holy church, and our parents and grandparents, and the servant of God, Gabe Kassab, Alex and Maryam Kanda, Albert Abdul Noor, Hilda Nasser, Joe Catriano, Ken Bidrin, Joseph Michael, Georgia Boadili, Reggie and Fahde Kakish, Khalil Ajluni, Richard and Esther Ajluni, Patricia Mason, Arshmandri, George Yusuf Shalhu, Paris Shalhu, Asad Ali, James Safadi, Michelle Daher, Wajami Ayam Watikum Bil Messiah. ليذكروا من رب الإله بملكوت السماء كل حين الآن وكل وان وإلى دهر الدهري
a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord, in the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Let all things good and profitable for our souls and for peace for the whole world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. All in remembrance of all immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Love one another that with one accord we may confess. I love you, O Lord, my strength, my will love you, O Lord, my strength, I will love you, O Lord, my strength, my foundation. Attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and of all things visible and invisible, and, 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 and one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the Son of God, God the only begotten, begotten of the Father, before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten not name, of one essence the Father. Son. 
unto the Lord. Beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.
especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
mind that first be mindful, O Lord, of our father, Metropolitan Philip, and our Bishop Anthony, whom do thy grant into thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of the truth. with one mouth, one heart, to glorify and praise that will majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us out into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Aban and Levi, this and the water, the Eka, but the Sismo, the Eki, Manifoto, the Eka, the Mashiaki, the Amas, the Samaki, the Eka, the Lord, Pobson and Jawari, after and Yaw, what to Grana Marina, Kama, not to Puna, no Limana, Ale, Rayat, and Tashiba, Laki, Sajina, Menachiri. Lianna laka muoku wa kurata wal maj Ayuha labu wal ibnu wa ruhil kudus Alana wa kula wanin wa ila da ridahiri As-salamu li jamiyaku the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
والذكير القاد في
يتغدى الجميع أعدائه ويهرب مبغضه من أمام وجهه إن في صحان المسيح المنقذ قد اتضى حالنا اليوم فسحا شريفا فسحا جديدا مقدسا فسحا سريا فسحا جليلا وقا فسحا بريئا من العيب فسحا عظيما فسحا لنا أبواب الفردوس فسحا مقدسا جميع المؤمنين كما يباد الدخان يبادون وكما يذوب الشمع من قدام وجه النار هلما من المنظر أية وخطيب ناسيون قائلات اقبلي منا بشائر الفرح بقيامة المسيح يا اورشليم اطرابي كذلك تهلك الخطا من امام وجه الله والصديقون يفرحون امام الله ويتهزلون بالسرور ان النسوه الحبيب تضيء لما انتصبنا في بلجه عميقه بإزداد داري حلمات الحياة صادفنا ملاكا جالسا على الحجر فالطفيق يخاطبهن قائلا لهن هكذا ما بالكن وطفنا الحياة لماذا قندبنا في البلا المنزه عن البلا اذهبنا وبشرنا تلاميذا آه 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 O God save thy people and bless thine inheritance Unto ages of ages. Amen. Stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and dread mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other 
and all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not who hope on you. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love towards mankind always now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen. glory to thee O Christ our God and our hope glory to thee from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-immaculate and all-blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the all-laudable apostles, of the Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, whose divine liturgy we just celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of Cyril, Cyril the patriarch of Alexandria, Pelagia, and the three virgin martyrs of Chios, of the venerable Cyril and the venerable Columba, the, the enlightener of Scotland, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. Have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and love us mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Kam. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Welcome each and every one of you on this glorious day. 
even if you came only for the occasion. We're so happy that you're here. Before Georgine comes to present the gift to the church, the Lady Society is a wonderful backbone and a living member that always worked for the church. Before she comes, bring me the microphone for Georgine. I wish to remind you of the following that on the 23rd of June, there will be one year in loving memory of George Yade, and June 30th, six months in loving memory of Naime Ayoub. This coming Wednesday, Nahar al Arab al Saa Saba, Eid al Saud al Ilahi, it is the Ascension liturgy at 7 p.m. And also, on Tuesday, June 18, Camp St. Mary begins. If you hear today, we need help for the vacation, the, the vacation Bible school, which begins on Monday, June 24. This cake and the gift and the program that we will mail to you of the graduate is made possible by the goodness and generosity of Dr. Shukri David and Dunya, Nick and Virginia and Tuckley, and Drawas Ansara, Dennis and Andrea Bojra, Sweet Dream, Josephine Daher, Wa Ailatiha, Shalhu, ACC Haifa Fakhuri, and Dr. Radwan Fakhuri. We begin by also remind you that if you wish to buy any of the festival food, please call the church's office and the Ladies Society of St. Mary's present their annual fundraising. July 21st, the cruise include, uh, it's on um, Portofino, Boat. Please see Zena Ansara, Sahar Kakish to purchase ticket. All this information will be forthcoming in the bulletin for you, Father. We have a couple very important things coming up this summer. Father George already mentioned Camp St. Mary will start next week on June 18th. Um, also, we have uh, the Fellowship of St. John the Divine, the 2040 Fellowship, which is the age group of 18 to 40, on Saturday, June 22nd. We'll be leaving from church at 10 a.m. to go visit the Holy Dormition Monastery, Mother Gabriella and Mother um, Melania, uh, not Melania, and the, and the nuns there. Um, if you're interested and you're following that age group, please call um, Angela Sultani, or you can call us at the church office. The cost is $20. I'm um, also, Father George mentioned Vacation Bible School. I saw Alexandra Fahom here today, so she'll be downstairs. If you haven't registered your child and you intend to, please do. The form is in the bulletin. Um, and I also wanted to ask your prayers for the uh, Bible Bowl team and for the catechism participants who will be going to Kentucky next week to um, participate in the uh, Parish Life Conference. So, and then one other thing. We are looking for volunteers. It's in your bulletin. For this program called Operation Lesa, St. Mary, the Basilica, has teamed up with Focus North America, which is a national organization, to outreach to the, um, to the needy. There's an organization called Tom's Shoes. Maybe you've heard of them. Every pair of shoes they make, to sell, they make another one to give to the needy. They've identified us at the Basilica because of Detroit, and we're gonna be working with them. They're gonna send us 5,000 pairs of shoes in the next several weeks. We need people from our community to come and help. We, we're gonna have them in a warehouse to help organize these shoes because the Detroit school system is gonna come collect the shoes and give them to the children that don't have shoes. Believe it or not, we have some children in uh, Detroit, lots of them, that need our help. 
So if you're interested in volunteering, please call us at the church office, and you can see the flyer in the bulletin. Thank you. Georgine.